Now you know what a logo is, and you've seen a few when you walk or drive by a coffee shop, supermarket, or clothing store. The logo is there somewhere on the product, wall, or shelf. There is a reason why I created these two videos, Negative Space and TV Show Logos. Any of these logos has some form of brand identity tied to them. In today's tutorial, we will create a favicon for a website. What is a favicon? It's a small icon that shows up in the web browser tab, address bar, browser history, bookmark bar, or on the desktop of a mobile device or tablet. As well, favicons will help the visibility of your brand as they use your website. I suggest using your logo for this exercise, or you can also download that example that I have at the bottom of the description section of the video so that you can follow along if you like. I have also included a folder of the HTML code if you didn't want to do the coding itself. Copy your favicon to the folder and a new icon should replace it. And then open the HTML file or refresh the HTML file in a web browser and you will see your favicon in action. In the past, one would want to create between 20 to 30 different size icons for different devices. Thankfully, there are third-party generators that produce these icons for you in a split second. But first, you need to create a high-quality logo to be used for them. A blurry image is not the best solution. Make sure you have already created a logo, and if not, stop, go ahead and make your logo, and then come back to this video. If you have the logo, open the logo file. Make sure the whole logo is selected. Better yet, after selecting all the art elements of the logo, group it. Command G for a Mac or Control G for a PC. This way, you know all the art elements are grouped together. After grouping the logo, copy the logo. Command C for a Mac, Control C for a PC. Now create a new document. Command N for a Mac or Control N for a PC, or go to the menu and select New. Enter the size of 256 pixels by 256 pixels. It will be a perfect square. Now paste the logo that you just copied into this new document. Command V for a Mac or Control V for a PC. Why did I create this special document size? The favicon won't be any bigger than 256 pixels, but it is a decent size to make sure the favicon is sharp in detail. You don't want to start with a small icon and make the third party generate to resize it bigger, which will create a pixelated icon, AAK fuzzy icon. Always better to resize things smaller from a bigger artwork. Do a free transform, Command T for a Mac, Control T for a PC, to the full size, making sure that it barely touches the edges of the file because we don't want to cut the edges off our logo either. You might have noticed I did not stretch the logo to fill the space unless one wants a distorted icon. Hold the Shift key and grab it by the corner while a free transformer to fend any distortion of the icon. And I use the line tool to horizontal align and vertical align center the icon on the artboard. When ready, save your image for the web. File, export, save for the web. I will keep my favicon as a PNG24 because this would preserve sharp details like those in logos or type. I check on transparency too because I don't want a white background behind the logo unless you want a white background behind it. You can create your own file icons, but it gets tedious, especially when you have to create 20 or more different size icons and different file formats. Lately, I've been using this website called favicomatic.com. You have the choice of two simple icons or every damn size search. I select every damn size search because I want to show you how many icons gets generated in a short time frame. It literally takes seconds to create your file icons. Upload your image simply by dragging your newly created image right on top of that banner area where it says upload your image. It should automatically be downloaded to your computer. Unzip the download file. Inside this folder are 19 icons and a text file with a code. Typically, one will place the icons in the root of the website, and the site tells you exactly where to put the favicon code, which is in the header. In my example, I will place it in the sample folder that I have attached in this tutorial, and place the icons as is. It will ask me if I want to replace the icons, and I will say yes. And now when I refresh the HTML page, you should see the new icon. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comments. For a more detailed tutorial, please check the above link for more information. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.